Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 11 of Skill Into Glory and uh, in this episode we're going to be starting off by moving on to the skillers up because in the previous episode we managed to complete the final challenge with the Botaka skill squad and that means we're going to be playing with Nadir Sifji, the next 5 star skiller we have unlocked and uh, these are all the challenges, the first one is score 7 goals with Sifji, the second one is score 5 skill goals, the third one is score a hat trick with Sifji, the fourth one is score a curved free kick, the fifth one is score a rainbow flag goal which basically is a skill run which includes the rainbow flick and the sixth and final one is win five games so uh, those are all the challenges then we're going to be moving on to the squad which is in the false nine formation and i was thinking of making a squad around the transfer version of cfg but unfortunately it is not released yet which is a bit of a shame uh, since it was obviously a little bit easier to actually link him up with and i actually want to get botaka in this team as well but i was just unable to make like a really good squad around cfg and botaka so um yeah i decided not to use him in the end but hopefully we will uh, maybe use him in a future squad uh, soon again but but anyway, the defense is uh, pretty solid, I think. We got the uh, Muslera in the goal. Then uh, we got two informs. We got Bruma and Sheju. Uh, right back is Palmer. Left back is a four-star skiller, Willems. Uh, then Cecilia, we have the transit version of Orion Donk, who now plays for Galatasaray and uh, gets a perfect link to Snyder, which is pretty awesome. Uh, left center mid is an uh, inform version of Ossia Koop, probably one of my favorite non-rare players in the game, actually. And he's actually part Dutch as well, which is uh, pretty cool to know if you didn't know already. Uh, on the right-hand side, the right center mid is uh, Scott Brown, who looks pretty awesome for a 76 uh, rated uh, center mid with some uh, pretty all round stats unfortunately only three star skill moves uh, right winger we have uh, Matt Phillips from QPR four star skill moves 90 pace 70 shooting uh, 75 dribbling then as a center forward we have the main man Nadia Yosefci unfortunately he got a pretty big downgrade compared to last year um, especially his pace and also his physical but um, hopefully he will do a good job in this team and you can see as well actually haven't used him yet this year at all um, I think I only used him at the capture event which was a while ago and uh, he's actually also part Dutch like Ossia Koop and then the left wing you have another a four star skiller in Erdogan so uh, that is pretty much a team um, if you want to know the prize and stuff then I will leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out and I will also leave uh, two other links of two squads you guys actually made one is full silver and uh, one is sort of a hybrid with some gold and stuff which looks pretty awesome as well uh, so feel free to check them out and um, the kits we're going to be using are from Guadalajara from the Mexican League and if you have any other cool kits you want me to use for future episodes or something then you can always let me know in the comments down below so we go into the first game of the episode and we come up against a boot Bundesliga team in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation and yet a pretty weird looking team like a lot of average players the non rares and then some just amazing players pretty much the best players in that league uh, I think third in for Lewandowski if I'm right I'm not really too sure uh, Robin Obama Young and also Neuer in that so a pretty weird looking team but still this guy was actually pretty good at the game he, uh, he pretty much dominated me the whole first half and then in the 45th minute Yes, in the 45th minute, I gave away a stupid, stupid goal. I tried to cross it over to the left-hand side to Willems, but I think I pressed the... Uh the, the clear button a little bit too soft or something because I pretty much gave it back to him and he passed it across and makes it 1-0. Such a stupid goal to concede. Then in the second half we got our first big chance here with Ryan Dunk. Unfortunately the shot got deflected by his defender and didn't really go on target. Then the 74th minute a nice pass from Muslera all the way to Matt Phillips who beats that defender lovely there with a really nice flick. Then we continue on with some more skill moves. A nice heel flick turn to cut inside and we cut in there with the burpa spin. I was trying to go for a shot in the end we do pick it up with Brown and we do make it 1-1. I'm not going to count it as a skill goal, but still a pretty decent goal. I can see as well, we had more possession, but my opponent had way more chances than us in this game. And um, I felt that we were quite lucky that we actually had to go into uh, into extra time. But anyway, I decided to make some changes, and uh, those changes actually affected my playstyle a lot, because I played a lot better in extra time. And you can see as well, straight from kickoff, we got a big chance there with Sifji. Unfortunately, we couldn't put it into the back of the net. Then uh, from a corner, we do pick it up with Brown. We go for a shot, then we pick it up with Ryan Donk. We go for a shot again, we put it into the back of the net, but unfortunately... This one was offside. Then uh, we move on. One and seventh minute. We do get felt there with uh, Brown, I think. Then uh, we pick up a free kick there with Osterkoop. And at the time, I thought he was going to put a player on the line. That is, of course, what he did. Seriously, everyone does it in the game. And therefore, I kind of wasted this free kick since I took it a little bit too quickly and completely blasted it over the bar. Uh, then uh, one and thirteenth minute. We pick it up with Botaka. We play it on through to Sifji. A nice first time fake shot to beat the defender. And we do put it into the top corner to pick up his first goal. And we also secure the win in this game and in the end we actually ended up winning it which I was uh, quite surprised with because as I mentioned my opponent just played better but uh, we got the win in the end which I was really really happy with then uh, we move it into the second game and we come up against a full knee side and I had a feeling I played against this guy before an episode I'm not really too sure uh, you can let me know in the comments down below but this guy was one of those people again who just 
love to play it around the back and just love playing on possession really. Which was annoying but I set a lot of pressure because I've played against uh, people like this a lot actually before. And I uh, kind of know what to do in certain situations. So uh, I did create some chance in this game here with uh, Sifji as well. We got some nice skill moves there. Unfortunately this one we couldn't really get a proper shot in with Sifji. Then uh, we pick it up with Brown. We pick it up with Phillips. We go for a shot and we end up hitting the crossbar. And then after that we pick up a penalty and I was really confused but in the replay I saw that his player actually uh, decides to uh, tackle uh, Scott Brown and the ball was not even there so why the hell would you go with a slide tackle? Maybe he did because uh, he was spamming the clear button but anyway we of course uh, step upward with Sifji and uh, we put it in to make it 1-0 in this game and pick up a second goal in total. And uh, you can see right there my opponent got himself a big chance with Ben Arfa. Nice I think block there from uh, Jeffrey Bruno pretty much kept us into the game because it would have been really really annoying to uh, concede a goal like that just before after time then a 54th minute in the second half some great skill was there from Sifji tried to go for a near post finish unfortunately his goalkeeper saves again then a 73rd minute you can see right there his goalkeeper rushed forward and then he decides to sort of time waste again even though he was 1-0 down I don't really understand it he pretty much decided to do that uh, the whole uh, second half long and that is how the game ended. So really boring second half. Not really worth showing you guys much. And um, yeah, we're going to be moving on. It will be the final game of the episode. Where we uh, come up against this team. 4-3-3 formation. La Liga with some transfer players I think as well. Uh, the Rossi now plays in uh, La Liga. Which uh, was something I noticed. But anyway, we start off with Matt Phillips on the right hand side. With some skill moves. I couldn't really beat him. Decide to go for a cross. For a reach out to safety. And what a header of the crossbar. And then uh, we actually needed some goal line technology. To see if it was a goal or not. But it obviously was. Uh, then 8th minute Sim on the ball there with Piatti there was a lot of uh, space on the right hand side there were like two players completely free he went with I think a triple tap cross reached out to Rossi makes it 1-1 a quick comeback from his side then I tried to do the exact same thing tried to go for a quick comeback as well with Phillips tried to go for a long shot but his goalkeeper still managed to save it then uh, from a corner we play it on short we pick it up there with Sifji on the edge of the box and we smash it into the top corner to pick up his fourth goal in total and a pretty nice finish there with the outside of his foot a nice sort of uh, step over as well with, uh, with Brown I think then uh, we continue on 35th minute Erdogan on the left hand side a nice uh, skill move to beat the defender then two ball rolls to cut inside and maybe could have passed it across to Sifji to complete his hat trick but I went with the shot and uh, his goalkeeper ended up saving it so in the first half we probably could have scored maybe a couple more goals we only had the one goal lead and I just really wanted to extend it because I felt like if my opponent gets one chance he's completely back into the game and guess what 75th minute he does get back into the game from a free kick a really really nice one though uh, no chance there for the goalkeeper and um, yeah, as I mentioned he's completely back into the game then uh, shortly after that he managed to get himself another chance with Piatti some nice runs there goes for a shot hits the post and again we got really really lucky in the end we do clear the way and if it would have gone in probably would have been game over because I just felt that I just had so many chances in the game but I just couldn't score so I decided to make one change that is bring on Acosta a player who has a lot of pace has four stir skill moves you can see we do make it 3-2 in the end not the nicest goal but I take it any day of the week because you can clearly see from the stats that we had a ridiculous amount of chances in this game but we were just really unlucky with the with the chances in, in general but still we managed to win it so I was really really happy uh, then we move to the skillers up you can see right there we have uh, 12 matches left we currently have four goals with safety which is uh, pretty okay I think uh, four goals in three games is uh, not really that bad and in terms of challenges we haven't completed any so far after three games but um, hopefully we can do that in the next episode but anyway guys that's going to be the end hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye. -bye.